So before we get into this video, I just wanted to address before it goes crazy in the comments, my edges look a little bit shiny. I think I used too much of the free spray or then I let my edges dry all the way, but this is not my lace showing. Hey curl friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a wig that is too small larger. You guys know I got this unit from You Pretty Hair about two weeks ago and it came in the size one size fit all. We all know my head is not one size fit all so. I thought that I would give you guys this quick little hack. It requires very, very minimal sewing skills. You can hand sew this. So if you don't know how to sew, might want to learn just for this quick little tip. It's really not that complicated, but today all you're going to need is some extra elastic, some scissors, and a needle, and the finest amount of thread that you can find. I believe the one that I'm using is polyester. Polyester or nylon, I think is what I'm using. I got these threads a very, very long time ago, but we're pretty much just going to enlarge our cap the back of our cap has these straps if your wig or your unit does not have these straps this may not work for you but most units come with the two bra looking straps in the back and they can be readjusted so we're gonna go on ahead do a little surgery on the unit cut it on open and just give ourselves some extra elastic that way we get that extra stretch and extra circumference to our wig as you guys can see my wig is sitting honey like it's sitting it's sitting so much better than it did on my initial review video and i love this unit i really really wanted to wear it but it was just way too small so if you're ready to make your small wig larger stay tuned for the next few steps so go ahead and grab your lace frontal or a full lace wig. This is a frontal that I'm going to show you guys today. It had four combs total. I felt like the combs were just extremely uncomfortable, so I will be removing those. But most of our adjusting will be right here in the nape where these two bra looking straps are in the nape of our wig they have this little elastic that gives you extra stretch in the back and we're going to make that stretch pretty much permanent. In my personal opinion, the clips themselves pretty much take up some room in the cap as well. It's a really, really small cap, a one size fit all like I told y'all. So I just felt like they were unnecessary. They were extremely uncomfortable because the wig was already too small. But as you guys can see here, I just left one comb. So now we're going to go ahead and start our steps to add the elastic. Unhook one side of the straps. And you guys will see how much stretch that we get from this. We're going to make that stretch permanent, which is going to give us a lot more room in this wig. As you guys can see, the fabric is like folded and everything. It's just tons of extra wasted fabric because this unit is just way too small. Underneath that strap, you guys will see an extra piece of elastic. This is what makes it stretch and retract back. We're going to separate that particular strap using a clip of your choice. You just want to separate it so you don't cut the wrong thing. And I'm going ahead and cutting that and splitting it into two. I'm pretty much just going to make that loop longer. So I'm going to get a piece of elastic and add it to both sides just to make the loop longer. We're going to start from one side and then move on to the other. So I'm grabbing my elastic. I chose this white elastic because honestly, that's all I had in my closet right now. I have to re-up on some supplies. But you guys can use whatever color you want. And we're going to split that into two. One for the left side of the cap and one for the right. I'm threading my needle so that we can go ahead and begin sewing. But my elastic should be a pretty much decent enough size to blend in seamlessly with the straps that already exist. The large elastic was just way too big. It wouldn't be able to fit back into the hole. So I'm going to go ahead and sew down the strap onto one end of that loop that we cut. I'm just going to go ahead and sew it down. Now that one side is complete, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the opposite side. I just want this to lay down nice and flat. You don't want a whole bunch of bulk and you want to make sure that your elastic is the perfect size or else you won't be able to stuff this back into the little nook that it was hiding in. 
I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off and get rid of the excess string so that we can pretty much create our loop now. To create the loop, I'm just going to flip the elastic that we just added on the right side. I'm gonna flip it over to the right, lay it on top, and just sew that together. Not shut, but together. That way we have that loop again that was underneath our strap. Now it's much longer, so it won't retract super, super tight on your head. It's pretty much going to be like a looser wig, which is exactly what we were going for. I'm going to go ahead and just secure it on both sides just to make sure that everything is nice and flat and even on all sides. And there we have it. We have our extended long loop. Now I'm personally not one to flip my units up or wear my hair up, but if you are gonna be doing that, you definitely wanna get like a black or brown elastic to match your unit, that way it doesn't stand out. But I felt like the white was actually perfect for a tutorial like this, that way you guys can actually see the difference and see what's going on in the tutorial. But I'm just going ahead and just tucking this elastic back down into the bottom of that strap, into the little nook where it was hiding in the first place and as you guys can see I can pull that strap and not have a whole bunch of retraction. As you guys can see the left side is where the extra elastic is and the right side is all jumbled up because it is extremely tight. I have not done that side yet. As you guys can see there's a huge difference. The left side is much longer and larger than the right side. I want to say we got an extra inch or two from this method. I'm going to go ahead and repeat on the opposite side of the unit. I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the exact same steps. Just pulling out that elastic, cutting it in half, and sewing on the extra elastic to give it more leeway. So there you have it guys, our circumference of our unit is so much larger, so much more open and it sits on your head a whole lot better. I hope that I helped you guys make your unit that is too small a lot larger. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kinda innocent this morning You don't wanna talk it out I agree the talking feels pointless Still it happens every night You know that I need ya But I'm so sick of this Not sure I can leave ya It'd be so hard to quit But every night that we explode Wish I could walk out that door Hate that I need ya Keep on dancing Soon we'll burn down into ashes Cause you keep playing with matches Hate that I want you yeah. Running out of second chances Ooh, oh, oh. 